Hey, a pleasant good day, Royals fans. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next edition of the Royal Take as we go over another goaltender being added to the team. As, of course, weeks ago, we added for good goaltending depth from the collegiate level, Tristan Kote Kazanave. And now we add a goaltender who was also very solid at the collegiate level, but also has been solid with a 904 save percentage in 27 ECHL games um, in Hayden Levine. So now. This team uh, loves the Garretts. Now we love the Haydens with Hayden Hawkey and Hayden Levine. But uh, in all seriousness, uh, Hayden Levine played very well um, in uh, <clears throat> in the University of Michigan, where he recorded a 903 save percentage with 31, 26, and 7 record. Uh, he also played in five games in the SPHL uh, with the Bur Bur Birmingham Bulls and the Pensacola Ice Flyers. He wasn't as good there. But then again, in the ECHL, he has a 904 save percentage. And Garrett Sassir, this team has a lot of connectiveness. That's something I should probably ask uh, Coach Kirk McDonald about in one of the next post-game press conferences. But this team has a lot of connectiveness with guys that played either in the in their juniors together or in former colleges or in the ECHL. And I think that goes a long way to playing how well this team seems to be playing as a united great front. And um, it, it kind of reminds you of how close and tight-knit um, some other teams are in the past that were able to kind of go all the way because you need to have that. It's all about the on-ice product, but it's also about having the tight-knit and the family feel. Uh, always got your back locker room in order to go the long, all the way to, and I think because of how connected these players are and play with each other in the past, that was a brilliant job done by a Royals management to, to focus on that side, which not everybody would do. They would just kind of focus on who's the best asset for the team in terms of skill you're getting guys that are very good skilled wise but also know each other so they're already going to have good chemistry as soon as they come in because they already are familiar with each other and I think that has gone a long way um, where obviously a goaltender being familiar with the defenseman is also one of the biggest key things too because they're the two big things on a team in order to be successful to win a championship your goaltending and your defense defense wins championships is Everybody says, but Hayden Levine, um, I think it was a very nice trade. Um, it's for future considerations. Future considerations usually never work out for the other team, so I think this trade's automatically going to work out uh, for Reading. But sometimes they do. I mean, we ended up having to give up David Drake, who was a good defenseman for future considerations, so that was one that hurt. But typically, future considerations are trades that, when you look at the percentages, it works out better for the team that gets the player and then later has to give up a future consideration because you're getting the impact now. They're not getting an impact until later. So um, I think Hayden Levine's going to be a good goaltender for the team, however long he's here. I think he will probably be here longer than Kote Kazanavi because Pat Nagel's over at the Olympics right now, and Samuel Ursan, unfortunately, uh, got injured again as we wish him well in his recovery because he just can't, unfortunately, stay healthy as he's a very talented Swedish netminder. But... Uh, it's unfortunate what's going on with him. So they bring in Hayden Levine. Carrillo, who is playing great, gets the earned call up. And um, it's funny because Kirk McDonald talked about that in the post-game press conference, how uh, he would like to see him get rewarded eventually, where obviously you want to see your goaltender stay to help you, but you also want to see them keep getting rewarded. And he does just that. Carrillo Ustamenko, uh, unfortunately, it's because Ursan went down. But Usti, I think if he gets a game now, having his uh, feel back after that hip surgery and getting completely back to what we saw in 1920, we'll have a good couple games in the AHL. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a video on Hayden Levine coming to the Royals from Allen, and I think um, getting him from the Allen Americans was brilliantly smart. Again, he already knows a defenseman on the team. That's going to help in bunches. Um, and he already has played immensely well. Um, to at least a solid 1A, 1B combination level at the ECHL level, and I have a feeling that's what they would do when it comes to the two Haydens now between Levine and Hawkey. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Peace out. Stay safe out there. And remember to come out this weekend on Friday and Saturday when the Royals play at Satan Day Arena. Peace out, everybody.